If you were ever curious if One Piece was a show for you or not, go watch One Piece episode 1089. I know, sounds weird to tell somebody that's new to a show to go watch episode 1089, but I am saying this for very good reason. Two reasons. The first reason is because Oda, the creator himself, has said that it is fine if you start from here on out. Because all the years prior, he was setting up to be able to tell the story that he's about to tell starting with 1089. But you know, being somebody that's watched One Piece for over a decade, I do know that there's a lot of information that is good to have going into this final arc. But what makes this latest episode fine to watch is for the second reason, which is this might be the perfect episode to get somebody that has not seen One Piece to at least see what it's about. And the episode doesn't spoil too much, or at least not that much that anybody that hasn't seen the series would be able to get without context. It just gives you the gist of what's going on in the series right now, like Luffy and everybody traveling around. He wants to be king of the pirates, he needs the last point of the to do it, where is it we don't know? Adventure time. The world government's evil and they're doing evil things, surprise surprise. And the person that's really really high up in the world government, they're really strong and really evil. Again, shocker. But then two really cool things happen in this episode that I think would be really cool for new viewers to see so they can understand how the story flows. Because you see Lelucia Kingdom get blown up and then it creates tsunamis that go all throughout the world. Tsunamis that end up affecting the Straw Hats wherever they are. So it shows newcomers that this is not a series that just revolves around the Straw Hats. Sometimes cataclysmic things happen in the rest of the world and then it affects us wherever we are on our journey. But the main reason why this episode is really good for new fans is because it shows us the dynamic between all of the Straw Hats perfectly. Like this is the first episode I've seen in years of watching One Piece that reminded me of like the old romance Dawn days. For the people like me that's been following this series since the early 2000s, it's, it's been a minute since we felt this in an episode. Like Zoro and Sanji climbing the ladder and them both knocking each other down, trying to, you know, be the first to reach the top. This is some premiere stuff right here. And when Chopper stepped outside to get taken away by the breeze, I was dying. If you don't know anything about One Piece, but you want to see if you at least like the characters or follow them along this journey, this episode will give you what you want out of these characters. They'll show you the governments in this series are very corrupt, and the destruction they cause can affect us on our own journey wherever we are. So to you or like a friend that's never seen One Piece before, this episode 1089 will give you a perfect example of what to expect for the whole thing. Starting with the Egghead Island arc on One Piece is technically something that you can do. With the creator Oda himself saying that if you want to start with the final saga of One Piece, it's totally okay. But does that mean you had to go through a thousand plus episodes just for the story to finally start? Making a thousand plus episodes not mean anything? Of course not. You think I want to waste my time for 25 years? It's not that the thousand episodes were building up to the story starting. It's more so that the start of this final saga is a culmination of everything that came before it. So starting from the final saga of One Piece would be like starting with Avengers Infinity War when getting into Marvel. Now keep in mind, from a filmmaking perspective, Infinity War connecting into Endgame was made in a way so that even people that did not see all the movies that came before could at least understand what's going on. I'm pretty sure we all know some people that saw Infinity War and Endgame but didn't see all the other movies and they were like, oh, those movies are pretty good. That's what One Piece would be. It's just instead of a thousand episodes to get to the final saga, you had to get through 15 movies to get to the final saga of this movie franchise. If you watch Infinity War with no prior knowledge, you'll get an understanding on how Tony is as a person. You'll get a really good understanding on all the things that Thor has lost in the previous movies because they're at least brought up to some degree here. Even if you didn't see Spider-Man Homecoming, you would understand what Peter Parker's personality is just by watching this movie. Like it was clearly made for fans that had followed the series from the beginning and also made for newer people that were hopping in for the first time. And honestly, that's just the mark of a really good story writer. When you can start off like a story saga or a story arc, just, you know, kind of fresh so that everybody can get in and understand what's going on. Now, obviously, the people that have been following since the beginning will understand way more than you do. For example, if you just hopped into Endgame and Infinity War, you would see Cap and Tony's relationship and you wouldn't really know how it got that sour. But us, the people following One Piece, the people that have been following Marvel since the beginning, we would understand, oh, these two have been having beef since the first Avengers movie. They've never really liked each other like that. Oh, they had that one thing that happened in Civil War that made the relationship so sour. We would get it. And if you want to get it, you would start from the beginning with One Piece. Keep in mind, despite Oda's words, I didn't say to start here and like follow from here to the end of the series. I didn't say all that. All I said was if you had no idea about One Piece, if you wanted to see if this show was for you or not, this episode would give you a good idea on how the world works and how these characters are. And if you had a lot of fun watching this episode and seeing these characters interact, then it's a good sign that you would like what else is in One Piece. That's all I'm saying. 